right, here we go. Final chapter for Oswald. Hey, listen. Up until recently, a dragon was living in this city, and we sacrificed people to it. But it suddenly disappeared one day, and everything's back to normal. There's a rumor going around that Prince Cornelius killed the dragon. Oh, you don't know the prince? I Hello, see. Frost. Welcome to you, to everyone. The Fire Country? Oh, yes, the Vulcanon Volcano. It's south of here. They say there are beasts made of fire there. I can't help but feel like Vulcanon Volcano just means Volcano Volcano. Hey, you. There's an air of mystery about you. You're full of secrecy and despair. I'm just a poor sorcerer living in an alleyway. But I can still tell. At this rate, you will end up destroying yourself. Hmm? Do I have something on my face? Oh, you know of a puka who looks a lot like me? Vulcanon is a Pokemon. Alright, I believe it. Uh, I'll get one of these. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Uh, how many special coins do I have? I have a lot. Let's go trade them in. For delicious meals. Whoops. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. I should do the yogurt thing. Welcome! What? Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna go do the yogurt thing first before I get any of this... Food. Uh, let's see. I say I'm gonna go do it. Like, it's any effort. Uh, what can I throw in here? That'll make it better. Uh, I feel like I'm not gonna need volcanoes in the fire level. Just call it a hunch. This is just not enough to matter. Alright, cool. Unless there's something here. Pancakes. Uh, actually, we'll do these just because that'll use up the rest of my coins. So, Frost, this is, at this point of the story, and this is his final chapter of his story, uh, this is what he's doing while the Valkyrie lady was asleep. Um, what am I going to do? I was going to open up something. Uh, here we go. So this shows a timeline. I was going to wait to show it till later, but it's fine now. This actually has a timeline of when all of the stories take place. 
Like, this is all Wonderlands, the purple thing. It's all categorized by story. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, chapter 3, 6. So, this is when uh, she gets put under her spell at uh, event point 44. And then she doesn't wake up until uh, point 73. So that means a lot of what Oswald has done. Uh, all of this has happened while she's asleep. Um, and actually, the story right now is we're going to go find her, because she was apparently taken by uh, Onyx, the Fire King. Hey, why the scary fit? Maybe... Um. that naturally. Uh, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, so, uh, let's see. So, in exchange for, well, let me back up a little bit. Uh, Oswald fought Odin himself. Um, hey, just be and when he did, uh, Oswald won. And uh, in exchange for sparing his life, Odin promised Oswald to free him from uh, from the Netherworld. Then Odin asked Oswald for a favor. Halt! Oh. Oops. Out of my way! You! Who are you? <laughs> Might you be? Please wait, King Odin! Someone, stop him! King Odin, tis an honor to see you here in person. Please excuse my servants. They don't bother me, King Monix. After all, we are equals, are we not? I have come here today because I have heard that my daughter is here. Yes. The wise men of Titania have brought me my treasure. She receives the utmost respect, and I have no intention of returning her. No wise man would call himself wise. They are a mere trio of ruffians. Those so-called ruffians have told me to beware of your country. Really? How amusing. Uh... Whoops. Said stream disconnected. Sorry, we're just waiting to reconnect. Thing the recording is still going. Confirm and go live. Okay, are we back? Things look like they're back. All right. I don't know what just happened. I just had an internet hiccup. Nothing got knocked loose or anything. Uh, anyway. So they plan to influence an entire nation with a single girl. Tis insanity. Or could it be that the Fire Kingdom's soldiers may actually invade my country? This will bring about the war and the prophecies. You're quite shrewd. 
But Princess Gwendolyn is so pure, it's impossible to believe she's your daughter. She sets my heart ablaze. Your daughter should be with me to watch the world fall into ruin. Hmm. Immortal you may be, but to be so immature. Tis appalling for one who calls himself the Inferno King. I shall snuff you out. It never crossed my mind that the Demon Lord would care about his daughter and set foot in this fated land. It is comforting. The spell you cast on your child will cause her to be mine. <laughs> so you know of the spell. Then do as you wish. Who knows? Perhaps you will get your wish after all. What do you mean? All right. Uh, so as I was saying before, is interrupted. Uh, by, you know, more cutscene. Uh, so, Odin asked Oswald for a favor. Uh, he asked Oswald to slay the dragon Wagner. Didn't explain why. And he offered Oswald a castle and, uh, and Gwendolyn's hand in marriage. Uh, now, Gwendolyn was already asleep. So, uh, Oswald kills the dragon. He gets the ring to Trell, the one that controls the cauldron that everyone's fighting over. Odin shows up and he's like, hey, give me back that ring. And Oswald's like, hey, you never told me anything about a ring. I'm a it. And also, hold up the, your end of the bargain. Odin is mad, but he still has to uh, uphold his word. He gives uh, Oswald that old castle that you might remember she was uh, sleeping on. He you know, had the bed on the terrace that she was sleeping on. And it's at that point that Odin or that Oswald learns of uh, the spell that Gwendolyn was put under. Uh, the one that's supposed to make her uh, fall in love with whoever wakes her up with a kiss. Oswald decides, hey, you know what? Something like that? A spell that forces you, uh, someone to love whoever wakes them up like that? It's kind of messed up. So he was about to look for a way to break the spell, and suddenly the three wise men attack and just kidnap her. So Oswald went and hunted them down, and they told him that, uh, oh, actually, she's in the fire kingdom. He took her away. Gave her to King Onyx. The claim that uh, Odin had promised King Onyx that he could marry Gwendolyn. That cutscene just there implies, uh, it says uh, very differently. Events. He did say that, didn't he? Hmm. Uh, what if 
I'm just throwing this out here as a theory. What if the Fire King was actually lying? What if he's so enchanted by Gwendolyn's beauty that he would say anything to keep her? Right, exactly. So many bombs. Easily one of the worst things to fight against. From Peregrine Plus 2. Uh, that actually sounds like it could be fun. Uh, we got a lot of extra defense. Yeah, you know what? We'll go for it. In with other characters, I've kind of shied away from using uh, equipment that's supposed to increase damage dealt and taken. Uh, but I think it is. Thematically appropriate for Oswald to use that kind of thing. His power is supposed to be cursed anyway. Plus, you know, it's good to add a little variety. seeds for advanced baking. Actually, speaking of, maybe I... Uh, I'll, it. I I'll save it for when I have something I want to really make. <laughs> it's quite rare to see a human in this area. It'll be a bit expensive, but I'll sell you something if you want. <laughs> Ooh, a brownie. Uh, anything else here? No. How to make brownie. Reworts, bad grapes, the cow, and the egg. Remember, they gotta specifically be bad grapes. I just want to see how much it's supposed to heal and recover. Welcome to Mort. This is unbearably hot. I see you have Now then. The brownie heals 35. Wow. 3,500 HP per bite. 4,500 experience. That's a lot. Uh, to actually make them though. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll do it. Do this. And I got plenty of those. So let's slap those down. I gotta wait for the grapes to actually go bad.
Where's the other thing I needed? I needed an egg, right? I'll pick up a cheese too while I'm here. Alright, Maury, help me out here, buddy. Welcome. Do you have it now then? Getting an apple pie, too. Alright. Brownie. Very Next well. Place. Leave it. I want maximum experience. I should definitely go for that. Thank you. <laughs> what can I sell to get enough gold to buy a shrimp? Uh, sell that. That for sure. That. Uh, yep. Bye. Out of here. Uh, so long. Farewell. Get two trips. the food I can. I still have a yogurt. I don't. Can I buy a milk? I can't. That's fine. Can't always rely on the power of yogurt. More, I am now then. As you get a wish. buttload of experience. Is there anything else you want? As you wish. Yeah, that was like sixty thousand experience. Is there anything else you want to order? It's nowhere near enough for another level. Uh, although, I await your further patronage. Maybe if I grow a sheep. This is the level up as much as possible segment of the playthrough, I suppose. But it'll be worth it. Maury's this is now then. Uh thanks, Maury. Oh, I still need Very another napple. Is there anything else you want to order? Thank you, Barry. Whatever. I'm sure I'll get some later on. Uh let's I don't actually care about any of those. That's enough messing around. Uh, let's go here. Challenge fight. Not a regular challenge fight, just... Oh, boy, just ripping and tearing. I 
It's just a casual 285 hit combo. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's still someone on the other side of the battle screen. Okay. this guy he could be very good to tell us. This is probably my super attack. Dines leaf? I don't know. Bane? Some kind of silver, I don't know that much. I've seen it around in plenty of other video games. No, it's probably some kind of legendary weapon. Alright, uh, I'll go for battle. For... I don't know. Uh... Boss. Okay, uh, let's have fun. Let's see what Bane's leaf does. Out. The Phoenix Rider, like a lot of mini bosses, are a lot more tolerable than you can just uh, ignore the most of the annoying things. Uh, I say that and then that happens, but. I mean, this one's almost dead anyway. Just one more refill. fly around and uh, swoop on me or whatever the hell they do. Start swinging and don't stop until they stop. It's 
Is that the last one I need? I think so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's four. Uh, yeah, there's nowhere else for me to go. seen that coming. And yet I didn't do anything. That was fine. Uh, right here. Torches, now I've got to go through here, and go here, treasure, power stone, more phosons, what's a power stone plus two grant? Uh, I can see how that would be good, and yet I... Yeah, actually, I don't like the Texans frog, so... Perfect. Perfect candidate for replacement. Got another rest area. Okay. Oh no, you found me! Oh, wait, you're human. Look, don't tell anyone that I'm hiding here. I'll let you buy something. Who did you think I was, buddy? Another shrimp. I was up plus two. Uh, no. Alright. I guess I'll grow some apples. Actually, I'll let one go bad so that I can do a thing. Mori, I am now then. Here's the thing. Uh, Start with this. Seems good. As you wish. Will that be all? Not that I need to justify anything that I do, but uh, very well. This is just making up for all the times that I didn't get to. Uh, oh, so Will that be all? Didn't get to buy anything for Oswald or make food for Oswald. One last piece, make another one of them chip salads. It's important to bulk up. Ooh, wait a second. Oh, tempting. 
Uh, that doesn't even use the same ingredients, so. Oh, it's a reward. Whatever. Very Is there anything else you want to order? Thank you. All right. Let's go for this trial. I'm sure I can handle it. Uh, I should... Can I do this? I'll get my power supply. I already have power supply. What am I talking about? Scared me. Fancy move can I do? No, let's do this one. It'll be overkill, but I never let that stop me before. Oh. Uh. It was worth it. I got a gold fruit out of it. That'll be very useful. On the other side, we got, uh, ooh, a new recipe. Turny, onion, rewart, and milk for fishy spawn. Can't believe the pepper put me on fire. Uh, like a fool, I've used up all of my rewart seeds. Uh, so I have to buy something. I could buy one here, couldn't I? Right. I just have to sell money for it. Or sell things for money. Uh, I don't know why that's still in my inventory. Go that. I won't do that. Go that. Uh... I need about 160, I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Good old Ignis in Final Fantasy 15. Aha. Come up with a new recipe. I think that's how he said it. It has been a hot minute since I've played Final Fantasy 15. Look, I'll let you. There's more potential to buy here. No, I'm not. 
give him a second. All right. Ah, that's it. I'll come up with a new recipe. That was it. That sounds right in my head. The only other thing I remember is that uh, one of there's a, a DLC event. I still think it's funny. Uh, it was like you could go to. Uh, it was basically an amusement park, like the Final Fantasy 15 world's equivalent of Disneyland. And touring restaurant. This is unbear huh? It was just Noctis alone. Then, what do you want to order? But uh there it is. It was just Noctis alone. Uh but you could learn new recipes there and he would uh imitate Ignis. He had, he had a really good impression. Yeah, the Chocobo Carnival thing. Uh that was a weird thing because that was very well. I just think it's weird because it was, you know, a single-player game that had, like, a real-world time limit on when you could do it. Is there anything else? That's a weird way to do things, in my humble opinion. Without getting too caught up in the details. Fifteen. Right, they did have an Assassin's Creed event. Uh, but Final Fantasy XV is just... It had some things going for it, but it was kind of a mess all around. Lots of questionable things. Anyway... Gwendolyn. There's Gwendolyn, still asleep. You are still asleep. I made it in time. You brutal man. Yeah, you're right, Frost. Do not take another step towards my queen, you hooligan. Your queen, eh? When she awakens, she will be mine due to a spell. She shall find a new life here and join my court. I won't let that happen. She shall become the Bride of Onyx, the ruler of these fiery lands. Having her as a wife will do wonders for my reputation. Of course, she will enjoy it as well. You and Odin, those with power are truly selfish beings. If all you want is a tool to help you gain power, look elsewhere. Return Gwendolyn to me. What? Are you a knight in shining armor here to rescue her? Bah! Look at yourself. I can smell the stench of death that follows you like a shadow. It sickens me. Tis the scent of that domineering wench in the netherworld. I, the ruler of the Fire Kingdom, find it repugnant. My fury awakens from the pit of my stomach. Let me show you my true figure, as described in the prophecies. Uh-oh. He hulked out. Time to fight the Inferno King himself. This will go over fine, I'm sure. Just dodge through everything. Be fine. Ideally, I would like to not let him do anything. That is true about 14. Uh, anyone who knows they've been even a little aware of the uh, history of Final Fantasy 14 knows that uh, the first iteration was just 
so so bad that they just had to redo everything. Stone arch. Uh, one of my favorite things uh, related to Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, uh, is now uh, you know until uh, I guess a few months back they finally uh, came up with they finally put up those vanilla World of Warcraft servers, like official ones. Which, I, mean, I don't know, I've never actually played Warcraft, the World of Warcraft. But I have no real thoughts on that particular game. But uh, what I do remember is seeing uh, a video clip where someone asks the director of Final Fantasy XIV, and I wish I could remember his name. Uh, they asked him. Would you consider doing, uh, bringing back the original version of Final Fantasy XIV, the 1.0, whatever they call it? Would you bring that back for the fans who want to play? And it's just not giving me a chance to finish my cats. Look at them uh, so rather than going through uh, the interpreter, uh, he took the mic himself. He said, Hell no. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Right. Take two. He did not. <laughs> he did not even entertain the idea for a split set. It was great. Like I don't even play Final Fantasy XIV. I just know. Uh, I just follow a, a number of people on Twitter who do. I am at, well, I should do a, a couple of things. First of all, because this will help me immediately. Do that. Okay, now my equipment is a tad bit better. Uh, oh gosh, I actually forgot to get this thing. Um, you know what? I don't care. I don't actually care. We'll just say that that's the reason I didn't tag the screen a hundred percent. Ah, the bravely default two demo. I did play that myself. Uh, 
I liked Breeze of the Fall, so I was very excited to try the demo. The one thing I will say about the demo, uh, and they'll tell you this in the demo itself, uh, they did raise the, uh, the difficulty because uh, they really want to uh, to really get an idea of what the whole Brave and Default system is like. So, if you aren't careful, uh, there will be random encounters that can just keep wipe you out. Uh, Octopath Traveler is really good too. Uh, I do have one beef with Octopath Traveler, and it's only one thing. Uh, and without going into spoilers, that thing is uh, like the final super boss of the game, uh, which is, you know, completely post-game. Uh, but the way it's handled. Say I did not enjoy the super boss. And when I looked up what happens after the super boss, uh, I didn't think it would be worth it to actually try for it myself. That's the only thing I will say about. That's the only negative I have to say about the path traveler. It. But if I must hand her to you, I would rather. Lay one finger on her, and I will reduce you to ashes before you can scream. I don't believe this. You do not have the authority to tear us apart. Will you take her by force, like a vicious thief? What of my own feelings? My soul burns with a beast. A beast called love. I cannot attempt to leash it. How can I live with these feelings? And to lose her to you in one terrible moment. Your words are my thoughts exactly. Go ahead, kiss her. Wake her up. But she will not love you. A spell causes her slumber. The demon lord Odin came and told me this. That's but not exactly there me. is no spell on her that can control her heart. Ah. Is this why you did not wake her? Because you knew that she would not love you? Yes. When she wakes, she'll flee. And if that is the case, I would rather keep her here, asleep and under my control. <laughs> what? Egonic sucks. I see. Her heart. It cannot be manipulated. Good. Inferno King, I apologize for my rudeness. I wish to ease some of your pain. Should King Onyx desire it, I shall wield my sword for you just once. That is all I can do. Do not think you can restore my honor with this pledge. Just remember one thing. While I still live, I will not let you near her. So yeah, there's a... What will you think bit of a you reveal? see me as you awaken? Will you hate me? Will you run away forever? Such musings are pointless. I can't go back to the man I used to be. No matter how you react, and even if it only brings me pain, I want to see... I want to see my reflection in your eyes. I want to hear... I want to hear those soft lips speak my name. And if, for a moment, a smile 
lights your face, I will be able to live. No one controls me now. From now on, I act on my own for you. And that's it. That's the end of Oswald's story. Uh, is there anything that happens to... He is a bit dramatic. That's true. Because everything that happens to Oswald after that has uh, already been shown in other, uh, in other characters' storylines. We know that... Uh, King Onyx did, in fact, uh, call upon Oswald to serve for him, to try to take out the last dragon, Leventham. Uh, and, you know, Gwendolyn had to save him. Uh, right, the baby dragon. And uh, let's see, what else happened? I mean, there's the whole part where he does uh, get weaker and the Halya come to claim him again and Gwendolyn goes to rescue him from the netherworld again. But uh, yeah, that's it. Oswald is done. And that means... That's it for this session. The next session will be this last, well, this last character. It's going to be Velvet in the story called Fate. So that should be fun. <laughs>